Hello YouTube, this is how you test the remote control. You need to put batteries in it, of course, and you need to find a digital camera. You can use the camera on your phone like I'm doing right now. You actually don't have to record anything, you just look through it. Now, from the naked eye, when I press this button, I can't see anything going on right here. But as I'm looking through my phone, I can see this blue light right here. And that happens when I press almost any button. And this is how you test some used remote controls. Now, if you're at a thrift store, you might have to ask around to get some batteries. And you might teach them this trick, too, because everybody loves to learn new things, especially something this simple. And if you go at garage sales, you can probably ask for batteries, but you might want to take some with you that day just so that you don't have to make them go inside and leave their cash box outside because nobody really wants to do that. And if you don't already know me, I make this YouTube channel to teach people how to sell online. And remote controls, even if they're used as replacement remote controls, they sell really well on Amazon. Recently, one of my Blu-ray players kind of crapped out on me, but I'm going to keep the remote control and sell it for 20 bucks used on Amazon. So I hope you like this tip. If you have, share it with other people because it's something so simple. I think it's just as simple as the banana peel thing. And this also will alert you to the fact that people can tell when you're changing the channels. So yes, you may have that remote control app on your phone, but if you go in the Best Buy or B-dubs and try to change the channel, they're going to see it on the, the security cameras. So that's the end of this video. It's very simple. I'm not going to go on and on about it. You just put batteries in it, put it towards the camera, and press some buttons and see if it works.